Hello, good evening, and welcome back to The Longing. It is now day 367, just a shade under a year. Shade over a year, I should say, until the awakening of the king. Now, that time we'll talk about later, but 366, 1753, 22, 21, 20, you know. Last time we got into this new area here, and we have lots to explore, so let's take a look around here and see what we can see. Um, I'm going to start with it down and left here first. Because it did look like it was a broken bridge there, possibly, or broken pathway. So we might not be able to go this way. I just wanted to confirm that. Uh, we opened up the door. The door took two hours to open. So we came back to it many, many weeks ago. Eh, it looks like this is walkable. Okay. Oh, I a rock as hard as heavy as my disappointment. I can in the way. I have three disappointments now. That's unfortunate. Um, it doesn't say we, it didn't say we can like metoc that either. So that, that wasn't kind of the flimsy door I mentioned that we could get through. What if I go upwards here? It's hard to see what's a, what's a path and what's not. This might be a path. <gasps> There's nothing here. Four disappointments. Oh, geez. Racking up the disappointments today. Well then. Uh, well, we got two more chances here. So, let's hope for that. We got down and we got up. What's more likely right now? Probably downwards. Let's go. The up looks like it has a doorway there. So, let's go downwards first, though. Ultimately, we want to go upwards. But. It seems to be a good old mine down here. Might be a good place to find some useful things. Yes, I like useful things. Oh, what is that? Um. First of all, is, can I pick these up? Oh, more coal. Sure. Pick it all up. Doesn't hurt to have some for my uh, my fire back at home. If I ever get a lit, I need flint still to get that open. Um, pick up, yes, of course. 24? Okay. So this is like a mine cart. Looks like it's derailed. More more something here. Ooh, wood. Okay. Oh, are these... these can I, oh, I can pick up the tracks. Hold on. Well, that'll be good for a fire, too. Piece of wood. I can't think of anything better to build a comfortable bed. Oh, I can I can have a sleep. That'll certainly pass the time. When I come into the game, though, my character here is sleeping on the ground. So, he already gets to do a little bit of that. My dream is to build a bed someday. I probably need a lot of wood. Okay. We're into an old-fashioned mine. Um, yeah. Looks like there's another Matok down there. Oh, yeah. So... From what I've heard from Jay Beetle, who is playing this game quite a bit, sounds like. Um, I've heard many things from him. Some spoilery, which I'll get into here soon. But uh, he did say that the mat Matoks are breakable. So, um, that is something to consider. There's no easy way down. Hmm. Okay. Well, no easy way down doesn't mean there's no way down. I think I just got to take the whole path around from the up then. I would think. Probably loops around and then looks like it's a dead end in the back there. I think it's a long, long path to get to another Matok. Matok. Matic. Whatever you like. Either way. I've heard it, I've heard it always. So yeah, Jamie has been playing through this a lot. I've been kind of vicariously living through him on some of these adventures. He's playing it a ton. Um... So we've got a lot to catch up on. I don't know if he's posting it at all, but uh, he's told me things. For better or worse, I know some things about this game now. And I guess I will get into them. We'll experiment for ourselves here to find out for sure, because I'm not going to take his word for it. We need to find out. I do want to explore each of these pathways first, so just to know what we're dealing with. I'm guessing if there's going to be something, it's going to be tough top now, and it might be a long path to wind all the way around to that bottom, I'm guessing. And then after that, I don't know where else we can go. I don't remember if there's anything else we're holding out on. Like, I didn't find, like, a crumbling wall or anything like that that it mentioned, so that must be something else we can find later. Um, 
Can I go up now? Yeah, there we go. So did I mark this on my map, first of all? I guess I marked this on the map, which is the same position. Um, we have this wall here, which is kind of a map of the entire area. Uh, we have the moss caves. We had that drop off I did last time. And then we had the main entrance way. Um, yeah. Now, I don't know if actually the main entrance way here. Did I go through all those doors? I wonder. I know one door took a long time to open, but I don't think that was. I don't know. I'm going to have to revisit that at some point in the future. We have some columns here, some Roman columns. It's interesting. And it looks like we have another path going upwards. Seems the king seemed to have abandoned this area a long time ago. All right, so now we have a situation of, I don't know if I can climb up there. Might be more disappointment or I can go, so I can either go right and get into whatever this is. Oh, this looks like a dead end anyways. Huh. Well, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like I can get anything up there anyways, though. I'm trying to find solutions to all my problems, but somehow I just keep running into walls. Okay, so that doesn't look like anything. Maybe it's nothing. I'm guessing this game has some stuff that's just there for no for no reason. Now, can we climb up that little gap here? I think we can. I want to climb. There we go. And I keep walking. And contemplate the peaceful existence of cave life. See, we're going up, though. Up is a good... Oh, that's a sheer cliff, though. I'm not going to let you up that. That's going to be a disappointment waiting to happen. Disappointments all around this episode. Climb? Oh, disappointment. Looks like this is the end of my journey. I could try to move the stone over there, but that would be a miserable task. Oh, no. It's going to go so slowly. This is our life, though. Push. Oh, do I have to hold it down? I have to hold it down. <laughs> it's not that bad. If I stop, though, I it, yeah, I have to keep pushing it. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Oh, come on, really? No, it it. Oh uh, God. Okay, I have to make sure I don't aim off of the thing here either. I gotta keep aiming at that push button. This isn't as bad as the uh, the crystal was. As long as this will take me, it wasn't as bad as that. We're a bit like a Sisyphus. Rolling the boulder up the, the hill in Hades. In the uh, underworld. Hades the game, not Hades the, yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Mythology. We've all been there. Not Hades. I think feel I feel like sometimes we refer to Hades as like a place in some uh writings. Whereas it's the actual, you know, deity in other writings. I think it's just like a shorthand, probably. He's stopping. I'm not making him stop. He's stopping on his own. Just giving up for once in a while. Okay, can I get up there now? Climb. That wasn't that bad. Of the things we've waited around in this game to do, that was like, that was minimal. Walking back to the house is going to be, uh, the king will not like this adventurous spirit of mine. Oh, but we're going, we're going. I really just want to get outside. Oh, the music starts. That means we're getting someplace. Now, the next question is, do I double back to the left or keep going straight? Looks like the pathway gets narrow that way. This one looks like it's going upwards. Okay, let's go straight. Let's go straight. 
I gonna have to crawl? I have to crawl. Just in case things were going slow enough. Oh, I can't wait for there to be like a long session where I need to crawl the entire time, too. That would be great. Oh, that's something blue on the ground over there. Hey, any color in this game is probably a good thing. I want... Oh, I can paint new things with blue. Do new drawing. Back at home. Pick up. Yes, please. A piece of lapis lazuli. Now I can paint the blue sky I will never see. Oh, so sad. We're still looking for flint so we can make a fire. No idea how we get that. I'm guessing by mining. We're going to have a disappointment situation going on over here again. There is nothing here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That's five disappointments. There's a, there's a rock on the ground there. All right. No disappointments this way. All right. Walk back the other direction. Just racking up the disappointments today. That's all right. I guess, I guess, you know, technically, if you get five disappointments, you get the sixth one free. There's like a, a little punch card you get, I think. The achievement for that says I should make a list of my failings. Maybe that is a small accomplishment, at least. I love how sad this guy is. <laughs> Makes me feel better about everything, right? Somebody said this is such a mood right now. This is this game. It's like, yeah, that's exactly it, man. This this game is mood. Hanging out in our own caves. Our caves hopefully are a little more interesting right now than this is. Not to say this isn't though. I mean there is this more there is more stuff to do in his cave sometimes than there is in mine. I just have the internet. He just needs to get the internet. The time would fly right by. This cave seems to be gigantic. I wonder if it reaches all the way to the outside world. That's what I'm hoping, man. That's what I'm hoping. I mean, when the game started, we saw it start at the surface and then kind of like crawl all the way down to show us that, yes, it indeed has oh, that little rock there disappeared as soon as I got to it. So it looks like I can't go up that way. Climb web. Really? Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just keep going up then. Um, I should probably bookmark some of these locations so I can walk back to them, though. Oh, there's a web up there I have to climb to, it looks like. I can't get there otherwise. I wonder... Oh, 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 oh. I found a new gate, I bet. I bet I found a new gate. The spider needs to make webs so I can crawl up them. Finally, another living creature. Maybe this little spider will be my friend. So if the spider makes a web from here to here, then I could climb up that. Or from here to here. That's how I can get going f further around here. So we found a new gate. Another time gate. And maybe that first web wasn't accessible until now. That we're a few days in. We have another few paths. This actually is a pretty big area. So, upwards or downwards? Again, I feel like downwards, the only thing it'll take me to is the Matok. Uh, this adventure is almost too exciting for me. Slow down then. Slow down, buddy. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go up first. 25 coal. There was a, there were, we're we gotta remember all the paths we bypassed here too. Might you get another disappointment here? Please, please give me another disappointment. It looks like it's kind of getting brighter, though. Maybe not. This is going to be a long disappointment, too. Oh, no, it's not going to be a long disappointment. It's going to be a new crystal. <gasps> oh, that means we have to mine. A lonely crystal. I wish to end its pain. All right. We have to do it. Okay, don't worry, little crystal. Soon you'll be freed from your sorrow. I mean, soon is relative. It took us about 10 minutes last time, I want to say. This one, I guess, is um, going to take longer. Because it's pink. But it'll be part of a set now. 
I wonder if there will be any other crystals to find. Well, we'll find out. It's mine in a way. I always like the geodes and stuff at the museums. Those are kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of that. There's a really cool exhibit. I want to say we were at the Chicago Science Museum, which is a pretty good museum. Um, pretty neat. There's a lot of good stuff there. Chicago has a lot of great museums, but that one I've gone to the most probably. I think we were there a couple years ago. The Milwaukee Museum here is not too bad. It's pretty good, actually. For a smaller town. I mean, we're not that small, I suppose. It's Milwaukee. It's a pretty big city. It's not a Chicago museum, though. Let's say that. The Milwaukee Art Museum is really cool. But that didn't have any uh, geodes to look at there. Although it should. I mean, actually, I like, I like the Milwaukee Art Museum way better than the Public Museum. Which is the public museum is more like the history, uh, natural aspects. And the most bonkers museum I've been to has been, uh, the Smithsonian. Which the Smithsonian is not just one museum. If you've ever been to DC, it's, it's several museums. All with different themes. I've made very little progress yet, so it's probably about like 10 minutes. Yeah. The Smithsonian is a lot of different museums. And I've been to, I think, three of them. I went to the the natural history one. And I went to, uh, I might have only been to two. I went to the aeronautic one, whatever that was. And the natural history one. And then they have like a broadcasting museum nearby, which is cool. It's not, not it's near, it's near, but it's walking distance to the Smithsonian stuff, but not quite on it. And that one's pretty cool. But the Natural History Museum is very, um, it feels very old school because it's an old, I mean, it's an old museum, but it just feels like a very old school museum. There's a lot of cool stuff there, though, obviously. I mean, it's the freaking Smithsonian. Of course, there's cool stuff there. But I like the one at the Chicago, I think it's the Chicago Museum. It had like this little like, like table and it had like different kinds of like gemstones and rocks in it and it would like have like each one labeled and it was like a huge variety there's probably a hundred different things listed and so the one that this reminds me of is tourmaline is what this one reminds me of here and i think tourmaline is oh it can be can be i think it's any kind of color but i think pink is the typical color for it i'm gonna grab my phone here tourmaline tourmaline crystals tourmaline is typically wide variety of colors great but it depends on what it's composited with so it can be compounded with aluminum iron and that affects the color i'm guessing but it can be black green blue pink red yellow so tourmaline is probably a good um a good guess if you see a crystal it has a hexagonal crystal system and what that's what this kind of looks like too those little like jaggedy spires like that halfway there not even halfway there it can be transparent or opaque it is a hardness of 7.5 if you're wondering what the Mohs hardness scale is but yeah tourmaline is kind of cool it looks neat I don't know what else this could be though but yes go to museum not right now, obviously, with the pandemic going on. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. But once you get the chance to... Um, try to go to places like that. They're cool. I actually can't wait. I love I loved going to those kinds of things. If we, if we were in, in the middle of a crisis here, we'd be doing that kind of stuff right now. Going to different museums and that kind of stuff. But it's all it's all closed, obviously, right now. Oh, we just hesitated there for a second. I was like, oh, is he done? No, he's not done. Um... Yeah, I wonder if people are going to, like, appreciate... I, I hope they do. Appreciate the ability to go out and do things eventually. Once it comes back. I know people are really itching to get out of their houses these days. But you got to stay home, guys. You got to stay home. 
But eventually, like, you know, several months from now when things are whatever normal is going to be from now on. I wonder if, uh, you know, museums, that kind of thing, will see resurgence. Stuff you can't see, you know, going to a bar. I mean, people are mad about that, too. Like, just want to go have a drink. But, like, I don't care about that. I want to go to, like, cool places and learn cool things and see cool things. Even if I've seen them a hundred times before, like the Milwaukee Museum, I've been to many, many times. Still like to go. Still like to see the different stuff there. As I said, the art museum here, though, is very, very cool. There's a lot of good stuff. It's kind of like, uh, it's art, but then it's like different wings that has history and, um, you know, like artifacts, most, mostly like ancient uh, art. Halfway there. And then it has all different kinds of wings depending on the, you know, the style of uh, an era of art. It's really cool. And the building itself looks cool, I believe. I believe it's most famous for being in the second Transformers movie. And it, and it, I guess it transformed, I think it transformed into a, a thing. It got like, the, the museum got shot with an all spark and it transformed into a weird thing. Cause the, the museum itself looks like a, it looks like a weird, like, sculpture. It's really cool. I'll post a picture up of it someplace here. It's iconic. It's the one iconic thing we have in Milwaukee. Give me a break. I, I guess, I don't know, you know what else there is. There's the Bronze Fawns. That's not that exciting, though. The Bronze Fawns is, of course, Fonzie. And Bronze. Giving his two thumbs a position. And it's down by the lakefront. It was down by the lakefront. I don't know if it's still even there. And that goes back to the show Happy Days being set in Milwaukee. It wasn't filmed in Milwaukee. It was just a setting of Milwaukee. And I don't know why Milwaukee was chosen. To be honest. I never watched the show really. But they chose Milwaukee as the, uh, as the setting. It sounded exotic at the time. I don't think it was. Because, I mean, Chicago had its own connotations, but Milwaukee was like, okay, Milwaukee, they make beer there, fine. It was the 70s, right? So, they knew, like, Schlitz was the big famous thing there at the time, I guess. The beer that made Milwaukee famous. So, yeah, I wonder if, like, I think Laverne and Shirley was also set here. Um, yes. Because it was the same universe the Gary uh, Marshall Gary marshall verse. Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley were in the same universe as well as some other Gary Marshall shows I think and so I think that the I think Laverne and Shirley worked at a Schlitz brewery actually and I think that I never watched the show but I think that due to Wayne's World and they spoofed it in the Wayne's World, the first Wayne's World movie, when they went to Milwaukee for something. And I believe they did the, like, kind of uh, Laverne and Shirley opening type things. I'm totally, like, I love, I love when I have uh, pop culture references that are just references to other references. Like, you know, like, when I was a kid, I, uh, I never saw Star Wars. For a long time and I but I love Star Wars before I even saw it because I I absorbed it like through osmosis through various culture cultural references and that kind of thing like you know like Muppet Babies would do a Star Wars reference or something like that so you get you pick up little things along the way before you even know you're doing it I'm sure my kids are the same way there's all kinds of stuff they're into that they've never actually watched my kids love Spider-Man they've never they they've barely watched a Spider-Man movie or comic book or anything like that but they've just absorbed it as part of it. Like Batman, like definitely Batman, but kids have not seen a Batman movie, but they love Batman. I don't know why. There's no reason they should, but they do. Superheroes in general, I guess they're kind of good fodder for kids though. But Spider-Man's the big thing around the house right now. That's probably the top one right now. Which is good because Spider-Man's seen a big resurgence in recent years. The movies have been pretty good. Homecoming and Far From Home have been pretty decent. Um, we've gotten out of the McGuire years, which is good. Um, yeah, nice. We got it. And the crystal broke off. 
A crystal is a pain to harvest, but it sure looks nice. This one goes right up on my wall at home. Nice. All right, cool. Well, we got something out of it today. So let's head back down this way. We got a little bit of time left on this episode. Um, ah, oh boy. You know what? I... Uh, we have to keep exploring out here. I was going to say, I kind of want to walk back home to see these things on my wall, but there's never a good time to go. I guess if I ever run to a dead end where I'm like waiting for something or need to walk back a ways to find something, I'll try that, but I'm going to go up here now. We got to keep exploring. We can't, we can't get out. We can't go back yet. Eventually we'll get back to the house. I'm trying to do these episodes a little more often now because there is a lot to explore and I don't want to wait till the very, very end to revisit the game. But you guys will, will be with me on this journey. I'll do as much as I can. I don't, don't think there's a whole lot to do in the game necessarily. I mean, there's books to find. Um, that's the dead end. I think that's how we... Oh, that, that's the rock we came up on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. I was just there a second ago. I remember now. Ooh, can I not get through here? Jagged rocks. Oh, watch your head, dude. Watch your head. Don't get... Oh, don't get stabbed. Don't get impaled in the rocks. He's crawling in. Is this going to be a doorway or not? Is this going to get to the end? I've crawled in here looking for something of value, but I found was another disappointment, surrounded by disappointment. And now I have to take this, like, crawl of shame back out of here. Oh, man. I now have six disappointments. All right. So where have I not been yet? There was a pathway that was back towards the, we'll go back downwards here. There was one pathway I bypassed before. Well, first of all, there's the spiders here. I don't know if I can jump down. Can you help me a little spider? Oh, hello there, friend. Visit friend. <gasps> hello, friend. Oh, God. Hello, friend. Don't step on your friend. No, I'm serious. Like, I don't want to walk past it. I want it to do its own thing. I want him to climb up there and make a path for me is what I want him to do. It's going to take some time. Let's not step on him. My only friend, the spider, is crafting a web. I can climb it once it's strong enough for my fragile body. This could take days. Okay. So now, again, we have a new gate. Okay. So let's mark that here so that we can walk back here when he's ready. So it could take days. But we'll let him work. Goodbye, friend. My only friend. All right. Now, this will be where I climb down. And then I can walk to the left still. And there'll be more to explore that way. That's where we where, that's where we broke off and took a new path. Assuming I don't fall down here, my friend will have to come back over and um help me up again. If that happens. That'll be no good. Okay. So we walk this way. What's that on the ground there, you say? I say that. What is that on the ground there? Ooh, there's a whole other path here I can't take. Pick up. What are you? <gasps> two pieces of flint I can use them to start a nice fire at home oh my god okay so that makes me think we should walk home then that makes me think we should walk home maybe that's how we start the next episode I don't know we're already running out of time for this this this, this 30 minute episode I don't want to make them too long it'll take me about 10 minutes to walk back home though let's just let's just, let's just start going that's right. Let's go back and see if everything is all right. It'll take a long ass time to get there. It'll take a long ass time to get there. My walking speed is not good. Again, I said I don't want to um, edit the series, though. You know, I don't want to, like, jump around because that defeats the whole purpose. It's the journey. I'm all about the journey here, right? So maybe I do end the episode here. 
And then we come back next time on the way home. The long walk back home to visit our shelter. And I won't wait too long between episodes here. I think I waited a few days here based on the clock. Um, I think we waited like three or four days. A weekend, maybe. I don't even know. Um, yeah, I need a map is what I need also. I'm trying to remember all these paths is tough. It is very tough. Is this a... I, okay, this is where I jumped up with that. Okay. So, yeah. We can see... We can, we can keep walking home. But, yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll... I'm not going to let him walk this whole way off camera. We need to... We need to do things properly. And do it on camera. I can't... Again, editing would... Would ruin the mystique of this whole thing. The music stopped now, though. We're getting deeper again. Is there a different direction I could have gone before? Like an upwards direction? I don't think so. I'm going to walk back ways before we wrap up this episode to make sure I didn't miss any paths in this area before we walk all the way home. I'll just use the auto walk, though, to get us there. Because, I mean, it's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. Um, He will auto climb the one things, I think. So that's good. I'm hearing the king snoring, I think, right now, is what we're hearing. It's kind of a grumbling breathing sound. It's just the echoing of the king breathing. That's what I think it is. I don't know. I want to get back to one more room. I think walk back to the door, and that's where we'll wrap up things. Start at the door that I came in on. So we'll have gone full circle this episode. Explored everything we can over here. And make sure I haven't missed any branches. That's what that's what the key is here, I think. It's weird that we can hear the king breathing all the way over here, though. I mean, I guess what other sound would there be in the in the dungeon here, though, in the in the caves? It's the only sound we have to keep us company. And the sound of my my spider friend. Of course. Yeah. So we had gone down. We have gone downwards. We have gone through the upstairs and we've gone through the door here. So I think we have covered each of the branches on this episode. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, that is where I will wrap things up. Then we'll pick up right where we left off. We'll enter the door here and we'll pick up right here next time on my long walk home. Ooh, nice music to go out on to. Good stuff. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of The Longing. I'll be back for another one very soon. See you then.